Hello everyone, how are you? Right, so tonight I've got this um, got a review of this little pedal here. Um, this is a reissue, but uh, uh, Electro Harmonics uh, Stereo Poly Chorus. Although it's not just a chorus pedal, being Electro Harmonics, it's kind of a bit wacky. It's sort of, um, you've got, I mean, it, it, it's not just um, like a, like a, sort of um, chorus flanger pedal either. I mean, if you want a chorus flanger pedal combined, okay, I recommend you you get one of these, and I've talked about this before, where you, um, that's the Electric Mistress um, stereo, where you can run the chorus and the flanger at the same time. Now this one's a bit more, this one's a bit more weird. Um, that you can run it like, um, basically like a slapback delay. You know, you'll do like, most things that like the memory boy will do you can get like you know so sort of rockabilly type sounds and what have you uh and you can go through all sort of all that weird and sort of 70s science fiction type sounds um but it also like you so you can use it like a um, like a double tracker thing um it's got a chorus setting flanger setting and the filter matrix like on the um on the electric mistress, how that has the the um, the the filter the filter matrix where you can just set, set you just set it dead, so it just filters um, certain frequencies, uh, and it's got this thing called the sweep filter, which is sort of interesting, and these various dials. So it's kind of like it's sort of a cross between a, a chorus of flanger and a memory boy, and um, like a, sort of this thing, like this double tracker thing, which I'm gonna I'm gonna show you that one first. Um, now I mean, yeah, you because know, you you know you got these um, these six dials, you don't you don't know what they do, do you at the moment? So um, so you, it, it, it can, maybe it can be a bit overwhelming, but um, but I mean, yeah, you know, I started out with like what I, what I thought was you know a sort of fairly reasonable um, sound, and then just started. Tweaking them. That's, then that's those are the settings I'm going, I'm going to use for this demonstration. So, um, so we're just going to uh, just going to get us um, set up. Just bear with me a moment. All right, let me. Yeah, here we go. All right. Okay, that's not the right one. That's the right one. All right. So then, when you got multiple. Uh, multiple pedals and things set out. You see what I tend to do is just leave things plugged in and then just chop and change as I actually need them. Um, so anyway, almost there. Right. Right, so we'll start with the um, we'll start with the double track thing. Um, so I'm using this uh, using this guitar. So we're not on it just at the moment, but uh, so right. So no effects at all. That's just a guitar straight in, bridge pickup. So it's you know it's all right, um, but when you put this on, this is on the dual track setting. Uh, it makes your picking sound more percussive it's almost like a picking filter if you like and it's something I didn't even know the name of the thing I actually wanted you know say that you're doing those like those fast um, bursts you know those fast would help if I actually played in the right key like that. Now there's a lot of like background noise going on there. It's not that remarkable what I'm doing there either. But when you put that on, The 
of course, I still make mistakes, but. Sweep filter on, I take that off. I don't know if that's actually going to make a lot of difference. It sort of deadens it a little bit more. Yeah, you know, compared with that, no pedal at all. And then put that sweep filter in. chorus setting so it sort of sounds like a chorus pedal but it's not it's sort of it sounds like a very sort of almost Pink Floyd sounding I mean, you can sort of tweak like the width and and then we start going a bit more weird If we're going to do that sort of pseudo Pink Floyd style playing. Yeah. And you can sort of, as you're playing, you can tweak these around as well. setting and we got that so we got the um, the sweet filters in take that off so I don't know put it on and it is very similar to the electric mistress sounding wanted to, you could tweak it so it is basically it mimics a, an electric mistress. I don't know I don't know why you'd want to want to do that because it's that's not kind of what its, it's strengths are. It's kind of like sort of the fact it's it's not quite a chorus, it's not quite a flanger, it's not quite a memory boy, and it just does those sort of weird sort of psychedelic 70s sounds or shoegazy type sounds if you're into that type of music. Tweak the uh, like the sweep rate and the width. So you get sort of like um, Leslie effects as well. Sweet Ray. Yeah? So I have that 
reverb back on actually. Why are we doing that? Yep, so we can get all kinds of um, weird with that, but also, you know, interesting, you know, because it's like I say, it's, a, it's not a chorus, it's not a flanger, it's not a delay pedal, it's sort of a mixture of those things. Um, and it has got that filter matrix from the, like, the Electric Mistress. So that sort of just gives you that sort of, just like a dead, flat sound. Which is also useful. But I think, I don't know, maybe more for chords here, I don't know. Well, I think, um, I don't know, I sort of like, I like the, um, that sort of doubling effect, you know, where it's just... You know, when it's like a picking filter. Because it suddenly, you know, it it helps with like the um, the dynamics of your picking as well, which is which is great. You know, you're not just um, you're not just you know just playing you know for this you know you you're not just blasting. You you sort of like you you know you're having to you know I don't know about you having to, but it, it sort of helps like add add dynamics to the actual picking that you're doing. That's interesting, that chorus setting there without, without the sweet filter. so on and so on and so on so there's a lot to explore with this pedal but um but i like it um a little bit pricey um but you know depends on what you want you know it's like if you just want like a one pedal which will sort of give you you know a load of a sort of will give you those sounds um apart from like the reverb but you know, it means you don't have to run a delay pedal, and you don't have to run like a chorus and a flanger pedal. Um, but it will give you know, just if, I don't know. Um, but yeah, they are a little bit pricey. So, um, but yeah, you know, I, I just just yeah, I I, I I think it's quite good, and, it, and it's sort of taking me in different directions, and um, you know, helping me sort of think differently um, about about my playing, which is. You know, one one of the main reasons for getting new stuff. Um, so I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Um, please comment below. Um, please consider subscribing. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.